Councillor Cordover, and then Councillor Westwood. Thanks, ma'am. My first question is about stormwater. At the Kingborough Community Forum this weekend past, a number of community groups asked about stormwater management issues. Clearly, these stormwater issues are prevalent in many neighbourhoods. In the summary on page 35 of Kingborough's stormwater system management plan from March 2020, it reads that the Kingborough stormwater system management plan has included a high level drainage capacity analysis, overland flow analysis, and the identification and prioritisation of potential management options for the identified flooding hotspots. It goes on to say, and this is the important bit, the pipe capacity assessment determined that approximately 3,000 of the 9,500 pipes, that is 32% of pipes, have less than 39% AEP, two-year ARI capacity, and approximately 5,000 of the 9,500 pipes, that's 53% of all pipes, have less than 5% AEP, 20-year ARI capacity. This means that half of Kingborough's stormwater pipes will not withstand a once in 20 year flood event and one third of Kingborough's stormwater order. pipes. I'm this just is at the question. Okay. This is an important context Look, for the question. I, I reckon I've been really patient with these and I try to be. But you're making, a, you're making a statement and an explanation. All we need is a question. And particularly with this one, this is a question on notice every time. Uh, ask your question and we'll do our best to answer it now. Thanks. Does Council have long-term infrastructure plans to upgrade these 3,000 pipes so that they're fit for purpose? Secondly, how much will these upgrades cost? And finally, how long before all 9,500 pipes are fit for purpose and able to withstand a once-in-20-year flood event? Mr Reeve. Uh, through you, Mayor, so as you stated at the very beginning, um, that particular plan is very high level. So our plans going forward is to do more detailed flood uh, analysis of um, priority areas, which is what we're doing at the moment. We've done that for the last couple of years and we've been doing other areas as well at the same time. And anything that gets identified through that process will then go through our normal capital works process in terms of upgrading those. I would also add uh, with that is that um, in many cases the pipelines themselves may not have a, um, a capacity that's uh, suitable, but we also rely on the overland flow pass as well, as does every other council. So we need to take that into account when we're looking at whether or not um, pipes need to be upgraded or not. But in answer to your main question, Yes, the intention is to do the detailed analysis and yes, the intention would be to upgrade pipes as they are needed. Thank you. A follow-up question to that is, um, would a street tree strategy assist in stormwater mitigation by having more street trees rather than concrete? Mr Reeve. Through you, Mayor. Um, predominantly street tree strategy, strategies aren't put in place as, that, as a primary reason to actually um, help with the stormwater. However, we do know that um, any sort of vegetation is um, important in terms of the quality of um, stormwater. Um, and that's not just only quantity that we're looking at here, it's actually quality as well. Um, so that would sort of go hand in hand in terms of trying to get that, but it wouldn't be the prime reason why we'd put a, a, a strategy like that together. Thank you, that's very helpful. Now I've got some questions on Mayor's diary. Is now a good time? Thank you, Mayor. So my first question is just 